In this problem, we are required to find the moment of inertia of a half disk of radius R2 from which a smaller half disk of radius R1 is cut as shown in figure. About an axis of rotation passing through the center and perpendicular to the plane of this disk. That means if this would be the axis of rotation about which this half disk is rotating, we are required to find its moment of inertia. So, as being a rigid body, again we can go by uh, integrating elements, and for a disk we can consider uh, an elemental ring of radius x and of width dx, as uh, which I'm drawing here. Now, in this situation, if the width is dx, we can find out the mass of this element. Mass of uh, Elemental half ring. This we can write as dm. This mass per unit area of the disk. If the total mass as it is given here is m, the mass per unit area will be m by pi r two square minus r one square by two multiplied by uh, the area occupied by this disk. Which can be taken as the length and width of the strip of this elemental ring, and its length is half of the circumference, which is pi x multiplied by the width, which is dx. Here, pi also gets cancelled out. So this is the mass of this elemental ring. So about the given axis of rotation, we find out the moment of inertia. So moment of inertia of element. Uh, can be directly taken as di is equals to dmx square because uh, uh, this is half of a ring of which moment of inertia is mr square. So this will be dmx square. We can write as 2m by r2 square minus r1 square multiplied by x cube dx. Now in this situation. If we integrate this expression from R1 to R2, we'll get the desired moment of inertia. So, moment of inertia of a given object can be written as integration of di, which is uh, this constant can be taken out of the sign of integration, which is 2m by R2 square minus R1 square. Integration of x cube dx limits will be applied from R1 to R2. On integrating, we'll get 2m by r2 square minus r1 square. Integration of x cube is x4 by 4, so it is 1 by 4, and with the limit substitution, it will be r2 to the power 4 minus r1 to the power 4. If it is further simplified, the denominator will cancel out, and the final result will be half m r2 square plus R1 square that will be the answer to the problem. Here you can very easily simplify and verify uh, this result uh, you are getting.